so in today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to integrate your MCP servers again locally developed MCP servers with your Visual Studio code so in current Visual Studio code or latest Visual Studio code we can run our own MCP servers locally and that's what we are going to see so first of all what we have to do is we have to update our Visual Studio code so that MCP setting is enabled since this setting is preview what you can do is again I just put a provided a code here you can just put this code here and you are going to directly go to Visual Studio code and it's going to tell you if your MCP is enabled or not so once it's done what we are going to do is we are going to run some specific methods and we are going to run two tools within our MCP server so here is the whole project structure now I'm not going go, going to go into deep for now but what essentially we are trying to do is if I tell specifically this tool so these are the two tools which we have built and one tool uh, get me list of office jokes again it's a toy example but this is what it does and the second one is it gets me the current date now how we have built is something like this so first of all we installed all these settings and I have put every setting here so you need few things for example you need fast API and you need MCP and you know some other libraries so what I have done is my main code starts here in main.py and here if you see what I am trying to do is I am just exposing one endpoint called SSC and this is the endpoint which I am going to use post I have done this my MCP server starts from here so this is my fast API and this endpoint called SSC is somewhere where I'm going to put it into the URL and that's how Visual Studio code is going to recognize that where this specific server is running so this is my API endpoint and within API endpoint if you see what I'm doing is I'm importing those two tools which I have created so I have you know these two tools created again these are some very simple toy examples but these two tools are actually you know imported from main.py and that's how it handles the request through this fast API and it finds out which tools to call so let me now try to run my MCP server so what I will do is I will go to my readme.md and I have some steps so I will use UV to create a virtual environment then I'm going to sync it with my existing requirements and I'm going to run my fast API so this is starting so again I'm running using UV and so it has come up so my api endpoint has come up this is my api endpoint available here so what i'm going to do is if i go to my particular file of fast api here i can see that the api endpoint is sse so i'm going to add this api endpoint so that my visual studio code can understand where the MCP server is running so I'm going to press control shift P then I'm going to say add servers I'm going to select HTTP I'm going to select control V slash SSE so that it can find out my MCP servers and the associated tools I have to rename it so I will just rename something called YTube mcp demo so this is what i'm going to do press enter i will put it into my workspace settings it created within this particular directory something called mcp.json which i can start so those so then my tools become discoverable and if you see it says we have two tools available just to verify what i'm going to do is again i'm going to open my chat window let me 
go through this i am going to have control alt i open so here is my chat window and if i see it is giving me all the list of tools including the two which i just created so one to get the jokes and one to get the current date so let it ask a particular you know functionality for a particular tool so what i have done is again i have just put this into agent mode and i am using gpt 4.01 mini for my you know copilot so i'm just going to write you know give me an office joke and let's see what happens give me an office joke so it is running and it says use one reference which is again you know get office jokes i believe so it was able to find out the particular tool and then i can run it and it is going to give me one specific joke so here is one joke or i would say from my mcp server it understand which tool to call and it gave in one particular call again all these examples is running locally but maybe in future what i'm going to do is i'm going to run it through some you know remote api endpoint so let's see in the future thanks team thanks for watching today bye